When we take grid modernization as a strategic goal, that really ultimately plays out to, to four programmatic focuses for Austin Energy. One of them is, um, is an advanced metering infrastructure, an AMI. We would state that that is becoming um, pretty much ubiquitous, it's a, it's, uh, it, and it becomes almost table stakes. You really have to have an AMI to enable the, the grid modernization, the future grid that's going to allow um, customers to have greater information, but also for us to operate the grid in a more effective way. It's also a significant input into some of the control systems that are going to be necessary to, to really operate that distribution system effectively. And that kind of leads into the second real programmatic area that we are focused on, and that is grid automation. So it's not just distribution automation, though that's a, a, a real key focus part of that, but it's also still what we're doing in the transmission substation area as well. And a lot of our distribution, our grid automation efforts are focused on the distribution side. That key element for us is, is, is starts with a control system. Our first focus on distribution automation really was on volt bar optimization and conservation voltage reduction. And we piloted it and found that there are actual real savings, real dollars, real return on investment, business cases, reasons why you would implement that. So that became a a focus and is now into deployment. We had done some early work in what I would call FLIZR, um, the, the fault location, isolation service restoration. That, that element has a lot of opportunities. Once again, because we have high reliability, it wasn't our first focus, but there is still this opportunity to start to um, reduce the number of, uh, the duration of, of outages that customers might experience. The third real programmatic area is um, distributive energy resource integration. So how are we going to operate and, and optimize and, and really in, allow for increased levels of distributive energy resources? Austin Energy was fortunate to get the largest of the um, SHINE grant opportunities with the Department of Energy. And uh, that has enveloped um, two large grid scale battery systems but it also has, um, encompasses what's happening at the commercial and residential, both with, with energy storage, electrical batteries, but also with, with um, PV, solar. So that, that project will actually look at a number of use cases of how the, how the, the system can be used for uh, not only um, smoothing of the, of the photovoltaic, the solar systems, but it's also looking at demand response, how it might be an energy resource, a load shifting device, energy arbitrage, other, there, there really are quite a number of potential use cases of which Austin Energy really plans to, 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 to explore seven or eight of those and, and determine those value. And they really are fourth programmatic area that, that, uh, that, that we are driven is, is on asset management. So our ability to manage our assets better is going to um, result in, and I think one of the key things we need to do, and that's continue to drive affordability um, in the right direction. The better we're able to, to manage that asset, less time-based maintenance would be an example and going to more condition-based maintenance and, and really um, looking at the asset health uh, is going to help drive affordability in a different realm. So those are, those are the four real, real strategic programs that, that Austin Energy is, is currently focused on and, and those are the things that are delivering what we believe to be the next generation grid.